Hey, Rick Usabel again from Cabaret Design Group, talking today about long draw draft beer system design. Today we're going to talk about glycol draft beer system design. What are the fundamental components of glycol draft beer systems? This process is accomplished through three components, the power pack, the trunk line, and the beer tower. I'm going to show you these ideas here in a bar plan of a system that we're currently designing. The power pack, which is a commercial refrigeration unit, is the heart of the glycol system. The power pack is rather compact as seen in this photo, but don't let this small package fool you. An individual power pack can have from one to three motors and pumps. The end result is that a single properly sized power pack can manage up to three trunk lines, each up to 750 feet in length, and each capable of handling up to 24 beer products. In this plan, we're showing the possibilities for three different opportunities for trunk lines in this particular building. A typical trunk line is shown in this photo. Here you'll see the cross section of a typical eight product draft beer trunk line. You'll notice a total of eight narrow diameter product lines around the perimeter sandwiched around a pair of glycol refrigeration lines. One glycol line is outbound extending from the power pack to the beer tower and the other returns from the beer tower back to the power pack. Each product line of the trunk line is connected to a unique barrel of beer in the walk-in cooler and each barrel of beer is connected to CO2 and nitrogen cylinders through a series of gas blenders and pressure regulators as shown here in this photo. A more simplistic explanation is that the trunk line provides a conduit of beer product lines connecting barrels of beer in the walk-in cooler to each respective faucet of the draft beer tower while also housing sealed refrigeration lines from the power pack to the tower in a continuous loop. The assembly of product lines and glycol lines is wrapped in a shield of foam and encased in a plastic waterproof jacket as we just saw a moment ago and it looks like this. The waterproof jacket is fairly flexible and fairly easy to manipulate. How are glycol draft beer lines installed? Trunk lines are typically installed overhead or under floor. If installed overhead, the exposed downward trunk lines would generally be housed in a combination of PVC tubing and a decorative finish. Heavy pipe is another popular approach, as shown in this photo. When installing under concrete, you would run these product lines through a section of PVC tubing this particular line that we're showing here, which is eight products, is two and three quarters inches in diameter and would typically be installed inside a six inch Schedule 40 PVC conduit. How do glycol beer systems work? The way the system works is that the power pack pushes refrigeration through the center of the trunk line. The trunk line contains an outbound glycol line which runs from the power pack to the tower over here and the return glycol line which enables the refrigerant to complete the cycle and become re-chilled. The job of the refrigerant lines is to keep all of the surrounding beer lines temperature controlled from the point of origin to the point where they're dispensed. The fundamental challenge of glycol draft beer systems is to transport the beer from the walk-in cooler over here whose temperature is 36 to 38 degrees Fahrenheit over a significant distance and dispense the beer over here at this tower at 36 to 38 degrees Fahrenheit. This is mandated by the brewers and has been deemed to be the ideal temperature range for draft beer to maintain its intended characteristics. Now as the beer travels along its journey it tends to increase in temperature due to the gas that's pushing it and the resulting drag of the plastic product lines that resist. Therefore, heat accumulates inside the product lines. The beauty of the glycol system is that the refrigerant line 
through the principles of thermodynamics, dissipate the temperature gains of the product lines as they get warmer. So the idea is, even though the refrigerant and the glycol line is between 29 to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it's there by design. It's there because it will ultimately offset the rising temperature of the surrounding product lines so as to deliver the brewed product at the recommended temperature by the time they get to each respective faucet. Once the beer product approaches the tower, however, the job still isn't over because the beer can still experience temperature gain over the last segment of its journey. In other words, a lot could still go awry inside the beer tower. Therefore, a bit of additional engineering is designed in the tower in order to complete the mission of delivering cold beer right up to the end of each faucet. The way this is achieved is that each of the beer faucets inside the tower, shown right here in these black circles, has a stainless steel shank that extends inside the tower head. A copper assembly known as the coal block, as shown here in this 8 faucet Micromatic Metro T glycol tower, in this side view, provides the rest of the magic. The inbound glycol refrigerant line, shown here in blue, enters the beer tower through a copper line that travels vertically inside the tower and creates a complete loop for the refrigerant to return to the power pack. So it travels around in a large loop and returns back to the power pack. Along its path, however, a critical engineering detail is completed. Along the return path, of the glycol refrigerant, its copper loop contacts the shank of each faucet and also branches into each respective faucet. This branch is known as the coal block. The end result is that the temperature of each beer product is controlled all the way to the point of dispensing. Upon leaving the tower, the return side of the glycol loop returns to the power pack so the refrigeration cycle can be repeated and repeated again. Even on its way back to the power pack, the return leg of the glycol line still helps to stabilize the temperature of the beer products on their way to the tower. This is the engineering of how glycol draft beer systems work.